During his 14 seasons as a head coach at Texas Tech and the years that followed, Spike Dykes was a legend in every sense of the word. Born in Lubbock, he led his hometown school to a then school record of 82 wins from 1986 to 1999, cementing his legacy as one of the most adored figures in Texas Tech history. After graduating from Stephen F. Austin in 1959, Dykes embarked on a successful career as a high school coach with stops in small Texas towns like Eastland, San Angelo, Cahoma, Belton, Big Spring, Alice, and of course Ballinger. Dykes received his first collegiate position as an assistant coach under Darrell Royal at the University of Texas in 1972. He spent five seasons at Texas in various roles. Dykes spent more than three seasons at the college level, two at New Mexico and one at Mississippi State, before West Texas called him home to be the head coach at Midland Lee High School in 1980. He led the Rebels past rival Odessa Permian twice during his final season in 1983 on their way to an appearance in the Class 5A state title game. The phone rang soon after from then Texas Tech head coach Jerry Moore who offered Dykes the defensive coordinator position at Texas Tech. Dykes built one of the nation's stingiest defenses in his two seasons under Moore and yet another under David McWilliams until T. Jones promoted him to be the head coach two weeks prior to the 1986 Independence Bowl. He brought stability to a program in need of it after Texas Tech went through five head coaches in the preceding 17 seasons. The Red Raiders had also suffered through seven losing seasons in eight years before his promotion. Dykes remained on the job for 14 years, still the longest tenure of any head coach in Texas Tech history. Before retiring in 1999, Dykes coached nine first-team All-Americans, two Doak Walker Award winners in Byron Hansbard and Bam Morris, and one Dick Buckus Award finalist in Zach Thomas. He was enshrined into the Texas Tech Hall of Fame in 2001, shortly after his retirement. In the years following his retirement, Dykes would always proclaim that he was the luckiest man in the world. His belief in this statement was not due to his coaching career, but instead to his family, which consisted of his wife of over 50 years, Sharon, as well as their two sons, Rick and Sonny, and their daughter, Baby Petrie.